If you're anything like me and spend too many hours on the productivity apps and tools that we use to get our work done, you've probably heard of Notion, which is so much more than a note-taking app. It is essentially a tool and all-in-one workspace that allows you to do so many different things, from tracking your projects, managing your business, collaborating with others, and of course, taking notes. I discovered Notion over one year ago and it's now become something that I use every single day and has become one of the most important parts of my productivity system and the tools that I use, especially to organize the multiple aspects of my life and get things done. How I use Notion has gradually developed over time and it is a point where I'm pretty happy with it. Try not to get daunted by it if you're starting out because it might look a bit complicated. Also, before you jump straight into Notion, you'll find a link in the description to a template which I have created and I will add more templates and develop these over time as well. I find them quite helpful. you find them with a link in the description. So let's go into my Notion setup for increased productivity. So we are now in Notion and I'm gonna be showing you through my setup, let's get into it. So we're gonna be starting with the dashboard and this is like the main hub, the main place that I use to put everything in. Not everything is in the dashboard, but we have a lot going on here. We can see here we have it split into different sections. This is like the different aspects of my life. So we have education, content slash brand, freelance slash business, filmmaking, health, and personal. What we have here, if we click this little drop down arrow, you can see that all the pages are here. The reason I have it like this is because I like to be able to just click the dashboard and then be able to see everything like all on one page. I don't always used to have it like this. I used to have it like split up on the on the, on the side here, but rec I recently, like not too long ago, I switched it up to having a lot of pages on the dashboard like this. I don't know, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. We could like have a header here. I have like a dashboard of car, I don't know thought was pretty funny. You can make this page full width. That means that it can stretch across the whole page. So you just go to like click the three dots and you click full width for the top and then that can stretch it across the whole page. I like having a dashboard on the just a like normal width like this. So it's easier to see them all um, in the middle of your screen. What we're gonna go into now is I'm gonna just show you my task list. And this is essentially my to-do list. I've recently started using Notion to like track my tasks. I usually, majority of the time, I, for like ages, I either used Todoist plus my bullet journal or just my bullet journal or just Todoist. But recently I just, just experimented with using a task list on Notion. And yeah, I'm pretty much liking it. I don't know, but for the moment it's working for me and let me just show you how I'm using it. So here we have tasks and here we have like just, I've split up into different sections. Like all I've did done here is I've just made um, a call out. You just like the right slash, right slash call out and then you just write whatever you want in there. So, and then see, I've got all these ones here and then we do is like drag it across and then like make an X to it. So here we have the task list. And the cool thing about this is that we can have like different views. So we can see here, we can have, I have this week's table and that, that means that we have all the different, so we have done. So once something is ticked, we have due date on here, day. So like I have daily, today, if we just click this here, we can see we have daily, today, tomorrow, this week, next week, this month, this quarter, this year, in the future, someday, and this week archive meaning like after something is done, so the next day, so like all these things here were done yesterday, so then I will just click change it from saying today, I will change it to this week archive. Also what I like to use, I like to use this view and I tend to use the, the Kanban view as well. So what I have here is I have today, tomorrow, this week, next week, and you can see them all like in one picture and you can like drag things across, which I like. I really like Todoist, but being able to see these visually and see all of these like, I, I started off with having like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but I felt like having like today, tomorrow, and this week, which I saw somewhere, and I was like, this looks pretty cool because things change quite often. So being able to like plan for this week plus plan for the two days ahead, I don't know, I feel like it gave me a bit more flexibility and I, and I like that. Here we can see like film this video, so once that's done, we'll tick that. And then when I come back onto this tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I'll change all of these ones that are done I will change them, as I said, to this week archive. Uh, yeah, we'll untick that because we're still filming. Also, something cool within this, we can make links with the to-dos. So what we do is we set up a relation. So we just click relation and then I'll select the database and I'll select YouTube videos, just like so. And then we click, click relation. It's exactly what I've done up here in this one. So we just click that and then I will type in the video plan that I've made in my YouTube videos database, which I'll show you after. Then we just click plus. And then you can easily click that. Yep, we'll just delete that because I already have that there. That will take you straight to there, which is my plan for this video. So as you can see, the plan here. And you see it relates to as well. So if I go to the video, it relates to the to-do on the task list, which is really cool because it means it's linking between each other, which I like. Also, I'm gonna just show you my favorites I have on the side. These are the things I tend to use Notion a lot for, so we'll be getting into that. What so one section is something that I like to call life wrap. I like the name, it's like writing relationships aims and personal development. I thought the name was pretty cool. In the writing slash reflection section, we have journaling, 
and we have three minute journal so this was something created by Valentine. but essentially it's just like it's a little journal that takes only three minutes and i've started to do this in the mornings now and yeah that's something that's pretty cool i also have like a normal journaling thing on here but i started to like really just write journals down on paper but it's like um, just stuff that i have done on notion networking and some like personal crm stuff and then aim slash growth we have like some so an impossible list that's something that i'm starting to build essentially an impossible list is like it's like things goals you want to achieve but like then after you hit it you like you progress onto the next thing if it makes sense obviously like some things there might not be another goal to achieve like if you finish university then there's not really another one if you're not doing anything academically after that so like say you want to run 5k then after you do that one the next one will be to run 10k or something like that impossible list bucket list annual reviews goals so like things i'm trying to achieve and there's just some notes on things to do in the future then we have personal development i don't know why there's goals here as well it must be a template okay we'll drag that into templates where's the templates uh dashboard and we'll chuck that away okay uh let's continue so the main bit here is self-improvement experiments and for this month i'm doing 30 days of no social media we've gone past 20 days now what day is it it's the 23rd yep 23rd of june and yeah it's going pretty well and that's really the main bit that i use here then we just have some other stuff here as well and if we continue on to um, let's go on to youtube videos because this is one of the main sections that i use for it um so if we go to the kanban view and what we have here is we have a range of things um that we're using notion for if we go to this one for example my notion set up for increased productivity and then we have a load of notes of just on like the video metadata if we go into the script we can see here like like well, the intro was like, the first bit should be a voiceover and then we have continuing outro which is talking head then we have this tour right here now and then we have like the conclusion after and like something really cool about this is how um i just really like the way you can plan it and how you can just drag things across so i just really like this this is made from my template from thomas frank i'll leave a link in the description for that as well something really cool about this is the b-roll list we have an example of where i used the like the b-roll shot list here from this bit here and i've change from using this to like just using b-roll like written on paper and like writing the b-roll and then like um ticking off once it's done but like this is much easier to plan it and like and have it more organized i like like writing my ideas on paper because i just feel like there's more creativity there but then like putting it into this is pretty cool i haven't always done it like i said so all we have here is like we have the, so we write the b-roll description here we've got a timestamp of where the b-roll is going so like in premiere pro it has these exact timestamps. all i do is highlight right click copy and paste it in we have the tags so it's like what kind of bureau is it is it film is it our overhead shot is it whiteboard is it archive is it stock footage all that kind of stuff once i filmed it or i've like got it from somewhere which is the archive or stock footage and then what we do is like we took it once it's done what i usually do is like so in premiere i mean like once it's imported to premiere and then in video once it's actually in the timeline that is basically it there's an editing checklist here and a publishing checklist as you can see, I did not use it this time. And have publishing checklists. I haven't always used these, but yeah, it's pretty good to have a look through these and make sure you've done everything that you've needed to do. It's kind of become second nature to me now, but I do use it sometimes and that's pretty useful as well. We just have some other resources here from also from the template. That's basically it. So we're going to go on to university. So like I'm a university student and I don't actually make my notes in Notion for university. In my first year, I made my notes on OneNote and I don't think I want to use Notion. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to see once I start my second year. I'm started to do research hence why i've got note take learning in my um tasks bit i just have some like information about university just some general stuff really that i like to have in a hub this was a college hub template that i downloaded put a link to that in the description as well this was just by another online creator that i found i thought it was pretty cool like i'm going to take some of these bits here and like edit it a bit and use that but like i said i don't think i'm gonna take notes in here i'm not too sure i think rome research which has like this bi-directional linking, which is pretty cool. I think that might be cool because then you'll be able to link topics between different modules. That's something I'm thinking about. If we go back over to the dashboard, I'll show you just show you some more stuff. Um, so here we have just Notion templates that I've collected over time from using Notion. And yeah, I've just copied them into here. So if I didn't say, I can't remember. Uh, the life wrap one, this is the template that I put together. You can find out with a link in the description. Some personal learning that I've started to do. I've done some filmmaking learning, do some marketing learning. One that I've just recently started is like university, like online courses. And one I'm doing is from Harvard X, which is pretty cool. It's called Justice, it's about philosophy. But I'm making my notes on Rome Research for that. I thought, well, no, this is a good opportunity for me to test Rome Research, how that can work for taking notes for classes. So that's something that I'm doing. Uh, let's jump into my newsletter. And uh, yeah, these are just all the different um newsletter issues that i've sent out 
and we just like, so if we want to make a new one, we just like backslash page, and then we will just write in here. And as you can see, like we have the different options for databases, like you have tables, board, calendar, gallery, but all I would do here is like just write the issue number there, and then um, just write, hey guys, and then we will just write all of that there. This is a podcast that I've recently started called Student Insider with my friend Luke. Here we have um, just like the podcast episodes. This is very similar to the YouTube video section. It's basically the same thing, but basically just copied and changed a few names around. And yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. It's not out yet, but once it's released, there'll be a link in the description to it, which you can find it there. It's all about being a student, how to be a more productive, effective student, loads of different stuff. That is basically the majority of stuff that I use Notion for. Um, we're gonna just dive into the knowledge section. This is essentially similar to this whole thing of like personal knowledge management and having like all these notes on different topics and just like informative information that I will find useful in the future. And from what I understand now, like building a second brain is not only storing notes for the things on topics, it's also storing your ideas. So like like my ideas on YouTube videos is, is one aspect because like you want to put content out, you want to provide value with the stuff that you're learning. I'm trying to figure out what I want to use, as you can see from this bit at the top, I'm not sure if I want to just use Notion for my digital notes, like the knowledge information, or use Evernote. So I'm starting to slowly progress things into Evernote, and then I want things that I will need easily accessible in Notion, such as filmmaking notes, photography notes, things that I'm working on projects, and Notion is really helpful for that. I want those notes easily accessible. Archives, so we just have 2019, 2020 archives, things that I'm not using anymore. Literally, that's it. We just have some health stuff here. Like, I've tracked some workouts in Notion. I've just started to use my notes in my in my phone because I find it a lot much easier than having to use the Notion app. Like, you can get it on your phone, the, the Notion app. It's pretty good. But I like just using the normal notes. I know, I just find, like, some things just have nice and simple and it makes things pretty easy. Oh, yes, one more thing before we finish. The resonance calendar. So, this was from Ali Abdul and... I came across this in an email newsletter and I literally just saw the screenshot he put in it and then like basically just copied it and like made a page on it or a database on it. There's a template he created as well not too long ago. I'll leave a link in the description to that as well. Lots of links in the description today. So yeah, this is essentially a place that I put, as you can see from the description, um, inbox for content that resonates with me, then copy to second break. So like the things that I learned from this, I then want to hopefully copy to the knowledge section, which I've like recently only just started thinking about doing that because I feel like Yes, it's nice to have it here, but having it in the correct space is something that, like if it's about photography and there's something in here which is useful in photography, I want to copy it over. So as we can see, once it's copied, I'll click copy. I literally only put this in the other day, so I actually haven't copied any over yet, but slowly over time, I should hopefully get it into the knowledge section. And yeah, it's basically content that resonates with me. If we sort by um, date and descending, no, ascending order. When you take a blog post, and so like if you use the, the web clipper, you can like click the little Notion icon and then copy it straight into Notion so then you can take notes on it. Plus have the exact blog post um, copied into Notion. Like I'll show you an example quickly. So what I'm gonna do, we just, we use this technique as well. So we will go to um, filter and we'll add a filter and we wanna go to tags and then only contains um, a blog post as you can see i probably haven't put all the blog posts in that i've actually read as blog post look how to be productive according to ancient philosophy so here we have the notes on it and then the exact article which is copied thanks to the notion clipper that is basically everything i hope you did enjoy this video please leave us a thumbs up and also there'll be links to the template in the description like i said this life wrap one which i came up with there's a template to that in the description also i'll be adding some more over time and improving them and yeah so you can find out with a link in the description thanks a lot for watching this video hope you're doing all right and i'll see you guys very soon